Hello guys, Dan here from Dan's Tech, and in today's video guys, we're going to be having a look at the Noctua NH-U14S. Just had to kind of look at the product there to remember the product number. Um, this is kind of a smaller version of the very, very popular NHD-15, which is a dual uh, tower cooler with 200mm fans. This, in my opinion, this cooler is kind of that, but halved, so it's a single tower but still with one of them fantastic 140 by 150 millimeter fans. It does feature six heat pipes, the same you know, as the dual cooler. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this performs. It's got the same amount of heat pipes. I don't know if it's only got the one tower and um, only the one fan, but I think in general, this is gonna perform very, very well. It'll um, be interesting to see the results. So, you know, without further ado, let's kind of jump into the video, take a quick look at what we get in the box, and then I'll go over the installation and then the performance on my i7-4790K. Since this product also does come with them low-speed adapters, I'm also going to be testing temperatures with the low-speed adapters attached, since, you know, a lot of you guys have kind of asked for that with coolers with them adapters. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's kind of jump into it. And, um, yeah, let's start with an unboxing. To get started, as always, inside the box, on top you find three boxes, one containing all the needed mounting hardware for AMD platforms, another one for Intel platforms, and also a common parts box. Now, both mounting boxes contain a detailed manual and solid metal pieces to install the cooler easily and also securely. Inside the common parts box, we find a syringe of Noctua's own thermal paste, the NTH1, a 4 pin low noise adapter, a metal Noctua case badge, and a solid long metal screwdriver. Inside this box also is an insulation kit for a second NFA15 fan if you want to purchase another one. And this does consist of two metal clips for insulation of the fan, a rubber vibration dampening strip, and also four thick rubber brown vibration dampeners to replace the standard ones that would be pre-installed on the retail version of an additional fan. These are included to improve the performance and also the noise levels of the fan when attached to the heatsink. Also in addition to all these accessories you do also get the NHU14S aluminium cooler inside the main box with a single 140 by 150 millimeter fan already attached to the unit. This cooler is packaged exceptionally well and should arrive intact. Onto the cooler itself, the cooler's design is a very tall single tower cooler with a 140 by 150 millimeter fan. Now the total dimensions of this unit are 165 millimeters in height, 150 millimeters in width and 52 millimeters in depth with this extending to 78 millimeters once the fan is attached. The total weight of the cooler is 935 grams with the fan attached. The aluminium tower features many aluminium fins with six copper heat pipes passing very evenly through the fin stack. Now the lower section of this cooler doesn't feature recessed lower fins like its bigger brother, the NHD15, however is a lot thinner and shouldn't be a problem at all. I'll show the RAM clearance in the video footage a little later on. For aesthetics, the cooler's been fully nickel plated and it's nice to see such a nice looking and built cooler overall. The build quality is excellent and you can really tell you are getting a premium product from Noctua. Moving on to the included fan and its specs and design, Noctua includes one of their own NFA15 fans. Now covering the specs first, the dimensions of this fan are 150 by 140 by 25 millimeters in thickness and features a unique non-square design. Now this really is a premium fan that Noctua also do sell separately and incorporates many technologies Noctua have worked on in the past few years. One noticeable feature are the dark brown anti-vibration rubber pads that cut down on vibrations. Now this fan is ready to run at a maximum of 15 100 RPM and can be slowed down to 1200 RPM with the low noise adapter attached. Now the minimum rotational speed is rated at 300 RPM and the connector type is of course a 4 pin PWM connector and allows your motherboard's BIOS to control the speeds based on temperature. Moving on to the installation of the NHU14S, overall it was a pleasant one, mainly due to the fact you get a solid metal backplate and a custom screwdriver needed for the installation. Now the installation of course does start with removing your old cooler and placing the included black backplate under your board and through the CPU socket holes. Now once you've done this, you'll want to place the plastic spacers onto the bolts of the backplate, then add the mounting bars after deciding which orientation you want the cooler. Now after you've done this, you can then fix the two mounting bars to the board with the four thumb screws, with the included screwdriver once loosely screwed them on by hand. Next, you want to add a small amount of thermal paste to the CPU. Noctua do recommend a small P, however to me, any method is good, just don't apply too much. The last step for insulation is to grab the included screwdriver and to screw down both the two large screws that are fixed to the cooler onto the mounting apparatus you've just set up on your motherboard. Now be sure to screw down the screws evenly and not to screw them down really tight. Only screw them until they stop. Now as for mounting the fan, these simply clip on thanks to the metal clips. And yeah, once you've installed the fan, just be sure to connect it to the 4-pin header on your motherboard. 
Finally onto the performance, testing this cooler on my i7 4790K at stock speeds with the automatic 4.4GB turbo boost enabled. This cooler was able to keep the chip at a cool running 67 degrees with one stock fan running at a normal PWM setting. It's quite impressive to see this cooler get so close to the NHD 15's performance when you consider this cooler is considerably smaller and of course it was a tiny bit louder when running the benchmark, however I think this is to be expected. Now when adding another fan to the mix this really does stir things up as you can get the same temperatures as the NHD 15 and you do have the option to also add the two low noise adapters to the fans to make this cooler as quiet as the NHD 15 under normal operation. And now let's conclude on this NHU14S from Noctua and let me tell you how impressed I am with this cooler in person. So guys, to conclude on the NHU14S, this in general is a fantastic cooler. Now, if you do choose to buy the additional fan, as as you've seen in the graph, you do get a little bit more performance. However, with the single fan, you know, you still do get fantastic performance for the size of this cooler and also the noise it makes. Now, just like the NHD 15, this does make a stupid amount of low noise. You know, you, you really can't hear it at all. It's it's literally that quiet. And when you do attach that low, da low noise adapter, you just can't hear anything at all. It's, it's like you don't even have a fan strapped on onto this thing. It's incredibly quiet, um, you know, does feature a lot of the things the D15 does, you know, you do get uh, this 140 uh, by 150 millimeter fan with all the kind of, you know, the rubber corners, all the, all the technologies that not sure have imp implemented into the fan, and um, in general it's just a fantastic cooler. You do get the six heat pipes which do work wonders, this is really really good cool at dissipating heat, um, and it's a lot smaller than the D15, even if you do go with the additional fan on this thing. Um, what's good of not sure to send me the additional fan to see what performance it's like and uh, yeah I'm just gonna kind of leave it there fantastic product would definitely recommend it and um, yeah, without further ado guys you know feel free to like comment and also subscribe and uh, you know if you guys are thinking of picking this up I will of course as always leave um, links in the description you know for Amazon US uh, UK and also just a general link to not choose website where you can find out more specs and some more photographs and stuff like that and yeah thanks for watching and yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one goodbye